Hi, I'm Bob Rubart with the Oracle Technology Network, and my guest is Oracle ace Chris Barbieri. Chris is a business intelligence specialist and a recognized expert in Hyperion application design and performance tuning, which is exactly why he will be among the more than 200 experts leading sessions at the Oracle Development Tools User Group K-Scope event, June 22nd through June 26th in Seattle, Washington. How are you doing this morning, Chris? Good, good. Good to see you. So according to the K-Scope schedule, which I was looking at this morning, you're doing two presentations. What will you be talking about during those presentations? Uh, in the past, uh, I've done something which is called a, the What Would Happen If I Did uh, a series. Um, uh, this is the third part in that series. I work with the Hyperion Financial Management products, and uh, I've been working with the products for 14 years now. And uh, one of the other experts in the field, a guy named Jim Heflin and I, were on a flight to go visit a customer one day uh, talking about, hey, you know, there's all these things that we've learned over the years that we've heard about, you know, what would happen if I did this thing in the, in the product? And many people don't know what would actually happen. They just have heard that they shouldn't do that. <laughs> well, I believe in actually breaking things and then figuring it out kind of mythbuster style. So the uh, one of the key presentations I'll do this year will be the third part of the series called What Would Happen If I Did Something in uh, HFM? Uh, and it's again, it's a mythbusters theme. Uh, it's going to be on Thursday morning as part of a as part of a series of sessions along with um, Jonathan Berry from Excelitis and Rich Wilkie uh, from Oracle Product Management. So it's going to be a deep dive uh, technical session on HFM and using HFM. That's the that's probably the keystone for me for the week. And uh, this year I'm adding in a little bit of fun uh, as part of this business track for people who are interested in just getting into what does it take to actually implement uh, Hyperion Financial Management. Um, I thought that I would do an implementation story, uh, something that would appeal to people who are about to embark on an implementation or are thinking about it. What are the things that we have to go through? But this year I'm adding a twist to that and I'm turning it into a rock opera. <laughs> <laughs> so it's called HFM Implementations, the Rock Opera. So will there be singing and costumes involved? Uh, possibly, possibly. <laughs> uh, the singing won't be my own. <laughs> it may be that of... Uh, of uh, Joan Baez, and I've got a little uh, clip of the Fifth Dimension. We'll kick off with a little Led Zeppelin. Wow. But I promise you, I will tie that back together with the product. I'm hoping to make it, um, in the spirit of K-Scope, something which is both uh, informative and entertaining. Now, now I know you're involved behind the scenes with K-Scope. Uh, you're, uh, you're on one of the selection committees? That's right. Talk a little bit about that. Uh, one of the things that I think makes K-Scope a really great um, conference to go to is uh, the content, the sessions really are geared for, um, it, they're not supposed to be vendor sessions. It's not about, you know, I, I represent Edgewater Ranzel. Yes, I'm a consultant. But, I, but I'm not there to just sell my services. We're there to make sure that the content that people go to the conference to get are, are things that they can learn. There's no other forum for them to learn this. Uh, there are deep technical things. They can learn this and take it away when they go back to their offices the following week or whenever, uh, that they've gained something. And again, there's, there's no other forum for this kind of content. Um, so as part of the uh, selection committee, we want to make sure that the, the topics are all they're very interesting. Um, they're original uh, and uh, and relevant, and that the, it's not a sales tool. So, so the um, emphasis is on on stuff, not fluff. Yeah, and even as a vendor, uh, we don't vote on our own sessions. Uh, so the the committees are generally a, a handful of people, half a dozen people, something like that. Um, so it, it's uh, it's very objectively done. Um, so I, I'm really proud of what we have to offer at K-Scope. Now, you've described the sessions you're going to be presenting, but uh, what sessions do you plan to attend? Who's high on your list? 
Oh, that's a good question. Uh, this year I have a, a number of my coworkers are actually uh, presenting as well from Ransell. Uh, one of the leads in the field is a guy named Jim Heflin who hasn't been at uh, any of the Kaleidoscope conferences in the past. Uh, Jim is an expert in the business logic and rules for HFM, for example. Uh, and in the spirit of being both informative and entertaining, he's got a few sessions on uh, HFM rules uh, and zombies. <laughs> so, uh, I'm not sure how he does it. I've seen this once before, but he will combine uh, uh, kind of a zombie apocalypse with uh, with writing uh, HFM rules and things that you should learn. So it's the it's the confluence of business intelligence and brain eaters. <laughs> Sometimes that's a pretty gray area. <laughs> <laughs> a gray area for gray matter. I have to stop myself now or I'll keep going. <laughs> well, Chris, thanks a lot for your time and uh, good luck at K-Scope. I, I, this will be my first trip there, so I'm really looking forward to this. But I uh, uh, hope I get a chance to drop in on one of your sessions. I'm really excited about it. I, I love the show. It's a lot of fun. Uh, bring your friends. <laughs> <laughs> I will do. Thanks a lot, Chris. All right. Thanks, Bob.